What's up everyone? I have a great video. Probably one of the best videos I'm gonna make for you guys. If you have a later model Chevy Impala, um, basically this is a 2000, 2009 Impala that me and my wife have, and all the power door locks have went out. Now I've already replaced the driver's side ones. And those ones work. I'm gonna show you the best fixed and the most cost effective way to fix this, all right? The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go on Amazon and you're gonna buy these right here, these new power door lock actuators. If you go to a junkyard, chances are you're gonna pull the power door lock actuators off of a car that's already junked out and chances are it's not gonna work because that's what I did. I went and I spent $15 or so um, going in there and pulling them off the car. Basically, I did this door up here, didn't work. So I'm gonna show you, um, this cost me $20. And I just, I just did this door over here. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, how to wire it up, and all the tools that you need. First, um, I mean, you can use hand tools. I like my impact, so you're gonna need a seven millimeter, um, seven millimeter, Uh, attachment a 10 millimeter attachment or a t27 attachment so the first thing you're gonna do get yourself a screwdriver flathead pull this little guy off right here or if you got fingernails you can do it these are a t27 right here or they're a 10 millimeter so just uh, I'm gonna put this down I'm not gonna edit any of this footage so it's gonna be a long video kind of but once I get it wired up that'll basically be it because it's a matter of just doing the reverse steps to put the door back together which is pretty easy and you're not and you're leaving this you're leaving all this stuff right here you don't have to take any of it off all you're doing is mounting a new one on the inside of the panel here and wiring it up so all I gotta do is figure out what wires are cut so we're gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna set my phone down right here so you can see me. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take these out right here. You're gonna need a drill too to to drill holes in the um, in the side of the car. And just so you know, if you buy brand new car door actuators um, at a dealership or online or anywhere, anything like OEM, you're gonna spend. $800 because these are $200 a piece and this is something all the Impalas this is something that's known to go bad um, Ours has been going out for a while. We're getting ready to have a baby here soon So my wife really wanted me to fix it. It's inconvenient anyway, so I mean it's something that I um, Should have fixed but um, You know getting the baby in and out of the back seat obviously has made it a little bit more um, a little bit more important so this was a part of my duty this week. So now you're gonna need a seven millimeter. Just throw it on the end of your impact or, you know, that's the best way to get to it. I just got my attachment here. So throw the seven on. So there's three bolts that hold the door panel on, then you can just pop it off. Those two 10, milli 10 uh, millimeter or T27s, uh, and then your seven millimeter and this little guy in the, in the hole right here, you just pop that little guy out. Come right out. So those are the three bolt. Oh shit! Those are the three bolts right there. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is just pop the pop the door panel off. Um, put the door or lock button down in lock position. Get yourself a screw uh, flathead. Just pry it. There's little pop rivets in there. You'll hear them come off. Oh, get get this guy off too at the corner here. get that off then you're gonna pop this door off right here. okay so I got the panel popped off you might have to put some muscle into it some of those rivets they're kind of in there see that one I'm gonna have to pull that out and stick that back in so um, then you connect disconnect you're gonna pop the power window thing controller thing out of the door panel and then you're gonna pop this guy out right here just take a screwdriver, just pry it out of there, and then 
pull that wire back and it, it slips out. It slips out right there, you can see. You'll see how it goes in. Right there. So you just pop it up and pull it out. Okay, so now that you got the panel off, I had to edit some of this footage because it was taking me a little longer and uh, no one wants to watch a super long video. So um, get yourself a razor blade, cut back on the on this foam stuff. I just took mine out. I'm sure it's supposed to be there for a reason, but I just took mine out. So cut this little guy back right here where this hole is because that's where your new, um, that's where the lock rod is gonna go through. So. And the instructions, it says that you need to mount it parallel um, to the uh, to the locking rod right here. So it's gonna mount up and down like this. Now I mounted mine on the inside, on the inside and here like this. So I basically just marked on the outside where I was gonna mount it like that. I think I had it mounted somewhere down here like this. And then um, I just marked on the outside here. And then I drilled. You need, you need yourself a drill, and I drilled with a bit that's a, it's about the size of the screws that it comes with for the holes. So you just mark it, drill a hole in there, and then you put the lock, the new lock rod through right here, and then fish it up through this hole, and you want it to be to meet up with the new one right here on this one right here. Um, so I'll go ahead and set it up, and I'll show you, and then I'll show you. Um, how we're gonna splice into the wire harness right here and what wires to put it to. Um, basically, it's gonna go green to green and blue to yellow. Um, now, I kinda had the gas on mine because the, the wires were quite faded, but there's a red, um, a blue, black, um, a black, and then two other ones, which I basically did the guesswork for which ones met up, but I'll show you here in a second. So I got my, dart, my door marked up here where I'm going to mount this at, so I'm just drilling the holes right now. Right, so I got the holes drilled right here, so now I'm going to mount this boy up in here. Put the lock rod in first, and then um, the the fat part right here you want to be having facing um, towards the lock mechanism. So you get your little screws in here. Use the two silver ones, and then these are the things that tie the two rods together. If you're mechanically inclined at all, you'll be able to look at it and see which which goes to which. get these two right here and once you get it in you might have to bend that rod a little bit to meet up because you want it to you want it to be pretty you know pretty even with this one so it's not yanking it in a weird position so go ahead and get your attachment for your drill I just use mine for my impact uh, just a little uh, magnetic bit holder that in get that mounted okay so I got it mounted on the inside here that's how it's mounted lock new lock rod is goes through the thing have it down in the in the lock lock position so you want it down and then take your old one and put it down in the lock position so now if we got that through there that's mounted we're gonna hook it up last with the wires and then that'll be it um, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bend the rod a little bit and kind of just kind of work it. But basically, I want to take this guy right here, so it moves up and down, as you can see. This one's down. Now we want to take this guy and we want to. I'm gonna bend. I'm gonna bend the tip right here, so that way it is parallel with this one right here. And I'll show you what it looks like after I bend it and I got the mount on there. Okay. So now. We got this mounted up on here. The mount, ouch, um, slips through right here. This little nut holds it in. <laughs> then you just slide the rolled rod in here, torque those two little nuts down. Now it holds all of it together. So 
basically this is your new motor right here and all you're doing is just tying it in so it's assisting the old one that's the best way to look at it so um, now get yourself a razor blade or use your razor blade that you already have out and cut open uh, the wire harness right here be sure oh it's already kind of open um, so I'm gonna open this a little bit and then I'll show you what wires to cut okay so what we're gonna do now is on your is on your wire harness here um, these colors aren't as faded as the other uh, door was so you got an orange a green a blue a black and then a red so you're gonna do green to green so cut cut the tip off of this right here cut the tip off of that and then use a pair of wire cutters um, cut that uh, um, cut the wire back so that way the um, copper is exposed and then undo it on both of uh, the green and the blue on your new motor and then on this you're gonna cut this one green to green so cut this one and obviously going up is to your old is to your old one so you're gonna cut it and then you're gonna um, tie it together from the bottom one right here and then um, that's that's red so you don't want that one so then this is the other one right here you're gonna do blue you're gonna tie it to this one right here I'll show you what it looks like when you're done and what I use is I didn't I didn't use shrink wrap I just use these standard wire connectors and they work just fine you're doing the two the two uh, the orange solid and like the gray solid those are the two that you're uh, wiring up to this guy so the orange one goes to the blue the other one goes to the green just use your wire connectors like that start it in the down position unlock lock there you go it's all the way down 